Hey, hey, what's going on everybody? Tommy Star here. Thank you for clicking on this video. Welcome to my latest Blu-ray update. All my pickups for the month of November. We are just a week away from Christmas. Crazy to think about how fast 2021 just flew right by us. And I know I'm late getting out my November update. Lots been going on this month being December. Super, super busy. So I apologize to everybody, but we do have an awesome update. 51 titles for November. And I'm excited to show you guys. As far as what's in this update, we got a lot of horror titles. A pretty decent amount of boutique labels, including Kino. Arrow, some Blue Underground, Vinegar Syndrome, and Scream Factory. We got some really cool still books to look at. I cannot wait to show you those. A few Disney, a few DC Marvel, a nice little stack of A to Z titles, and we also have one collector set. But before we get into all that, if you guys are not subscribed to the channel yet and you enjoy watching videos of what other collectors get each month, make sure you hit the subscribe button right down below. I do these on a monthly basis, so if you guys never want to miss out on a future video, hit the notification bell. And if you enjoy this update today, give it a thumbs up. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start out with the one collector set I picked up, and that is the Evil Dead Groovy Collection from Lionsgate, where you get Evil Dead 1 and 2 on 4K, and then you get the whole series of Ash vs. Evil Dead on Blu-ray. We don't get Army of Darkness, and I guess it's because that's owned by a different studio from what I heard, so that's why it's not in here, unfortunately, but we still get the two first Evil Dead films in this beautiful collection. Now, I did do an unboxing of this in one of my weekly pickups video. If you guys want to see like the inside and everything, go check that out. It'll be down in the description box below with, of course, all my other unboxings for the month of November. But love the art on this. Check out that lightning on the back. I love the way it like shines when you move it. So yeah, if you guys are a fan of the Evil Dead franchise, definitely pick this up. Getting into the horror titles now. First up is a horror anthology film released by a company called Dread. That is the movie Bad Candy. This looked pretty cool. You get Corey Taylor and Zach Galligan from Gremlins who play radio DJs and they start telling these stories of like local myths in town. And it looked pretty cool. And to get Corey Taylor in here. So yeah, definitely excited to check this one out. Two new titles for the Shutter Collection. We got The Banishing and Caveat. These look pretty good. Always happy to add new titles to the Shutter Collection. The next three here are from the November Horror Pack. We have a film called The Last Thanksgiving. And then we have a film from Dario Argento, Dracula 3D. And then we got a drive-in double feature from Raven Banner, Sky Sharks and Bunny the Killer Thing. Now I have Sky Sharks, this one here. But I definitely don't have this bunny the killer thing. I've heard that it's just supposed to be absolutely insane. But yeah, some cool new stuff from uh, Horror Pack. A new pickup here from Full Moon, a movie called Mania Killer. I think this came out in like the 80s. But it looked interesting to me, so. Getting into the horror slipcovers now. First two are some brand new Nick Cage films. We got Pig and Prisoners of the Ghostland. I haven't seen either one of these, but I definitely want to check them out. This one here, I wouldn't say is exactly horror. It's probably more like dark, thriller, whatever you want to call it. The best work Nicolas Cage has ever done is the review on the back there. So we'll see. We'll see what that's all about. Prisoners of the Ghost Land just looks batshit crazy. I mean, look at these reviews on the back. If you're a fan of Bold and Outrageous, get on board and hold the F on. Straight out insanity from beginning to end. I mean, it just looks really, really cool. I've heard that it's kind of like Escape from New York type type of movie, but we'll see. It still looks really cool, so just happy to add these to the collection. Next, we got a new horror film from Warner Brothers from the director of The Conjuring, Malignant. This looks pretty good. I've heard some pretty decent reviews on it, so excited to check this out. 
Okay, getting into the horror 4K now. First couple I'm going to show you are actually first time to 4K releases. First up is the 25th anniversary of Scream. So happy to get this movie on 4K. Obviously, I wish we would get the rest at some point, but I'm happy if we only ever get the first one because obviously that's the best. So I've watched bits and pieces of it. The transfer looks pretty good, so I'm definitely pleased with it. And I cannot tell you guys how excited I am to uh, see the new movie. And then we got the Adams Family finally on 4K, which is pretty cool. So, And then the last horror pickup is the brand new Candyman film on 4K. I mentioned this before. I saw this in the theater. I haven't watched it yet since I've gotten it on 4K, but definitely looking forward to revisiting it. So, all right, that's all horror. Let's move on. All right, getting into the boutique labels now. We're going to go ahead and start out with Arrow. Just got one of them, and that is the brand new 4K edition of The Hills Have Eyes. And, of course, one of Arrow's cool collector box sets that they do. Unfortunately, we didn't get any new cover art on this uh, compared to the Blu-ray. But it's still cool just to have this movie on 4K. So, haven't checked it out yet, seen the trance or anything like that. But I'll get to it eventually. Next up here are two brand new Blue Underground 4K releases, Maniac Cop 2 and 3. Now, I've never seen any of the Maniac Cop films. I've always wanted to because I hear they're really cool. So I picked up the first one from Synapse a couple months ago, I believe. And now I have all three of them. So I'm definitely going to sit down and watch all three of these one day. So really happy to add these to the Blue Underground collection. Okay, getting into the Vinegar Syndrome now. The first one I'm going to show you is not actually straight Vinegar Syndrome. It's one of their partner labels, Gunpowder and Sky. And that is the 4K release of Summer of 84. I've been wanting to see this movie for so long. I bought the standard Blu-ray a while ago. Never watched it. Now I have the 4K release in this cool box set. And I still haven't watched it. I will very, very soon. But... Sounds like some kind of a cool 80s slasher whodunit type film, but really happy to check that one out, hopefully soon. And now the other two here are actually Vinegar Syndrome titles from their October releases. First up is a film called The Laughing Dead. Got to cover it up here because we got some nudity on the front. And here's the back. This movie definitely looked cool. And then this one I was super excited about when they announced it, the 4K release for the film Ticks. Love the artwork on this. Cool 90s film. You get Clint Howard and Seth Green in here. But there's the front. Here's the back. And then we get a uh, slipcover edition underneath. So, yeah. Cool movie. It's a lot of fun. Definitely check this out. Got one Kino Lorber pickup here. And that is the 4K release for Invasion of the Body Snatchers. This, of course, is the 1978 version with Donald Sutherland and Jeff Goldblum. Cool to see this on 4K. Kino lately has been releasing a lot of 4K stuff of like some Screen Factory releases. So it's definitely cool to upgrade these movies. So we're going to go ahead and end the boutique label with the Screen Factory pickups. Unfortunately, no collector's editions in the month of November, but two pretty cool titles. First up here from Mel Brooks, we got Dracula Dead and Loving It. Finally on Blu-ray. Been waiting forever for this film to come out. One of the last Mel Brooks films I wanted in the collection on Blu-ray. So we got that one. And then we have an IFC Midnight release. A movie called Come True. I had never heard of this movie. And I remember getting like a standard release of this in one of the horror packs. No slipcover, nothing like that. And then Scream Factory, IFC Midnight got their hands on it and released this cool... Uh, slipcover edition. So I'll check this out at some point. Happy to add it to the Screen Factory collection. So that takes us to the DC Marvel titles. I got one of each in this update. First from DC, we have the sixth season of Legends of Tomorrow. I really like the cover on this season. It's cool looking. But yeah, you guys know me. Every time these new DC series get released on Blu-ray, I'm going to pick them up. And then for Marvel, we have one of the latest films from the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and that is the 4K of Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. Now, I did get a chance to watch this, and I thought it was great. I had a lot of fun with it. 
not one of the best MCU films, but still entertaining. I mean, I don't think you can get a bad MCU movie. I mean, for the most part, I love every one of them. Some may rank really low, some may rank really high, but I love them all, so... Okay, Disney. The first two up here I'm going to show you are some brand new Disney Movie Club exclusives. Some classic Disney cartoon films. We got Melody Time and Make Mine Music. So, happy to add these classic cartoons to the Disney Movie Club exclusive collection. And then we got the brand new live action Disney film with Dwayne Johnson, Emily Blunt, Jungle Cruise. I've been hearing that this movie's fun. Not in a big rush to see it. I just needed to grab it for the Disney collection because you know me, I gotta have any and everything Disney. So, but yeah, we'll get around to it at some point. So, that's Disney. Okay, getting into the A to Z titles. We're gonna go ahead and start with the Amrays. First up here from Paramount, new to Blu-ray, we have the two movie collection for the Brady Bunch movie and a very Brady sequel. So happy this is finally on Blu-ray. I've always loved these movies. They're so funny, and I always have a good time watching them. So thank you, Paramount, for putting these out. Next here from Sony, we have Tim Allen and Jamie Lee Curtis and Christmas with the Cranks, finally on Blu-ray. I'm happy to see this on Blu-ray. Not my go-to movie for the holidays, but it's fun, and since it's first time on Blu-ray, I'll probably end up watching it this week. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Next up here, we have a new DreamWorks film. First time to Blu-ray, another Spirit movie. Spirit Riding Free, Spirit of Christmas. I picked this up because I noticed it was coming to Blu-ray for the first time, and I collect everything from DreamWorks on Blu-ray and 4K. I didn't really know much about it. I, I haven't seen any of the Spirit movies, but since I seen it was coming to Blu-ray for the first time, I picked it up for the collection, and unfortunately, there's no slipcover on it, which really sucks because... All my DreamWorks titles have subcovers now. This is like the only one that doesn't. So, but whatever. It is what it is. Next up here from MVD Visual, we have a movie called Edmund. This came out a couple years ago, but I guess it just now came to Blu-ray. It looked kind of interesting. A pretty good cast. William H. Macy, Joe Montegna, Mina Savari, Julia Stiles. It sounded good. If you guys want to read about that. Getting into the slipcovers now. First up here is number 27 in the Paramount Presents line, and that is Tom Cruise in Vanilla Sky. Now, this has been on Blu-ray before, I guess, but now we get this cool new edition from Paramount Presents. So I picked this up based on Craig's recommendation. He said it's a pretty decent movie, so we'll check it out. Next here, we got a new to Blu-ray title from Lionsgate, the Steve Martin film, L.A. Story. This is the 30th anniversary edition. I don't think I've seen this before. If I did, it was a long time ago, but I love Steve Martin, so wanted to pick this up. And the last A to Z pickup here is the brand new film starring Jennifer Hudson as Aretha Franklin, and that, of course, is the biopic Respect. Cannot wait to check out this movie. Probably will watch it in January when I'm done watching Christmas movies, but I love biopics. You guys know that. Anything, sign me up. I'll watch it, so... All right, we're going to go ahead and end with the Stillbooks as usual. First up here is the 4K Stillbook released by RLJE Films for Prisoners of the Ghostland. Now, this was the only way to get it on 4K was in a Stillbook because the standard slipcover edition was only released on Blu-ray. So, really cool looking Stillbook. It's a glossy Stillbook. There's the front. There's the back. Spine. And the inside. The Best Buy exclusive 4K Stillbook for Shang-Chi. Really like the look of this one. You guys know me. I have to buy all MCU Stillbooks. And the inside. All right, the next two we're going to look at are some Lionsgate Stillbooks. First up here is a Target exclusive on Blu-ray of the movie Wonder. Pretty cool looking. And of course, being Lionsgate, you usually get those clear slip covers. So you go ahead and pull it off, and then you get different artwork underneath, which is cool. So there's the front and the back, spine, and then the inside. 
And then the other one was a Best Buy exclusive, I believe. This is a 4K still book, and that is for T2 Judgment Day. This one's really cool looking when you take the uh, slipcover off. As you can see, it's the skeleton underneath. That's neat. So there's the front and the back. Spine and the inside. Next up here from Paramount is a really cool looking still book for the movie Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. I was really excited to pick this one up. I love this movie. So really cool to get a still book for it. And then the inside. So that takes us to the last and final pickup for this update. We're going to end this right with a Christmas still book. And that is for the original Christmas specials collection. So cool looking. Never thought we would get something like this on a still book. I've gotten several of the other editions from the past, like your standard slipcover editions and your different collection sets. But to get a still book is pretty darn cool. So, of course, you get the top three Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer, Santa Claus is Coming to Town, my favorite, Frosty the Snowman. And then you also get some of the other ones, like the little drummer boy, Cricket on the Hearth. But I'm just really happy to have these classic Christmas cartoons that I grew up with in this really cool still book collection. So there's the front, there's the back, spine, and the inside. And it's got one of those flappers, and here's the other side. So, all right, that is everything. All my pickups for the month of November. Really happy with everything I got. A lot of really cool titles to add to the collection. So, That'll do it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you drop a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of my pickups. Let me know what you guys found in the month of November. And if you would, share the video around. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.